Hello kings, queens, and beauties in between. I'm Tammy and Close, and we're back with Uriah. Hey. Alright. Here's some interesting facts, so... Well, first off, let's... Before okay, we're, start... okay, we're reviewing no, the movie... Sh we're reviewing the movie Carol Coraline. Not and... the move... The stop animation movie, not the book. Oh, yes. So, this uh, movie was actually based on a Neil Gaiman novel... Uh, the story is based off a little girl who moves with her parents to from New Michigan. Home. Yeah, she's from Michigan. She moves to Oregon, but their apartment they moved in, the pink palace is filled like uh, with extra it, neighbors plus a dark secret. Like uh, two neighbors that used to be in the circus, and then yeah. this one guy who wants to train rats. And, yeah, to do circus. Yeah, and uh, the guy is his. In the movie, his skin is blue, and it's like, oh, it's Gargamel. He's so cosplaying as a smurf. Also, uh, Caroline also found like a secret passage to another world. So this other world's like a reverse image of this of her world she lives in, but her mother in this world is more sinister than a real one. It's but her, out of nowhere, it's her other mother. I know, but out of nowhere, like her parents disappear. How's that supposed to happen? Like when she entered the other world, her parents disappeared. Like they went to the snow globe, I think, right? Like, part of the movie scene went to the snow globe? Yeah. Okay, you're going way too quick. You're just... You're going way too quick for, through the movie. Yeah. Get it done now and then later. And there's not even that much detail to talk about because... First beginning, she moves to Michigan. She meets some old guy. No, some no, kid. No, she moves to Oregon. She moved from Michigan. To Oregon. And she misses her friends. But then she meets that one kid. Okay, basically, the way that she got to the other world was there was a tiny little door in her living room, and she got the key, and basically, uh, when she opened the door with her real mother, uh, her mom's, like, all annoyed. Her parents, it may seem like they hate her, but they're just trying to do their work and are kind of neglecting her, which isn't okay, but... Uh, her, her mother was like, okay, see, look, it's nothing. You bothered me for no reason and stuff. But then as soon as they all go to sleep, uh, a little mouse rat, mouse rat, yes, yeah. that is a thing. Wait, is it like the blue guy's mouse, like, led her to the tunnel? No, it was actually the one, it was one of the mice from the mm. other world, actually, leading her to it because her other mother is like is actually uh can you search up what uh it's like i want to say damsel but it's not uh but anyways her other mother wanted to show her how great this other world is because uh their food was better they had like a mango milkshake and that kind of sounds gross mango milkshake actually that's pretty good i had that um, so the, the mom's name is the Beldam? Beldam, yes. Beldam, yeah. I think, uh, Beldam yeah. is, that's kind of another reason. Uh, everything's dead in the real world and all, like, really sad because of the Beldam. Uh, like, their food ends up rotting and decomposing, like, so super Beldam's fast. So Beldam's the blame for that. So she's like a, a the, entity, like a devil entity. Well, not really. She feasts on the souls of kids because to keep herself alive, and uh, the only way she can really do that is if uh, you agree to let her sew buttons into your eyes. She did it to three kids beforehand, and one of the kids was actually this one guy's grandmother's twin sister, uh, and this his his name is YB and stuff. Uh, he has an other, other YB as well, where he doesn't talk, but, yeah. and stuff, but he's actually probably, I like him more than the real one. So, I just found out the legend of Beldham is like, so, this, so Beldham is actually a witch that date back to the 17th century, so that's where they got the idea from, and she's a shapeshifter witch, and she, well, yeah, she, um, she can, she's actually a spider, but then she she lures them like uh, to their house, and then she feasts the vixen who wants her children. Well, yeah, she disguises like she goes after kids whose lives aren't who like are kind of taking uh, like taking are, up space. 
no, taking their lives for granted and stuff, being like, oh, this sucks, is horrible, and stuff. Basically, like, kind of, like they th they like their kids say that th think they're miserable and stuff, and they kind of have to appreciate of what they have. Uh, but she, the Beldam basically disguises herself as the kids' mothers and stuff, and they're like, I, and she's like, I'm your other mother. Let me make you a mango milkshake. Also, I look prettier than your real mom because her real mom had a crooked nose and stuff, and the other mother fixed her nose to make her look perfect. And it was like, no. Uh, but basically, she was uh, in charge of this whole thing. Uh, even like the other, even her neighbors looked better. Like looked better because uh, the two crazy ladies in the basement. Yeah, yeah. The old like, ladies, because when she interviewed the old ladies, in the real world, it was okay. But when they went into the other world, I got traumatized because I was like. Oh yeah, that was when uh, she was like fighting the Beldam to get like the three tokens of the kids that she had to save, and she had to actually go and go back to save her real parents because the Beldam's like snatched your pants. Either let me sew buttons into your eyes, or I take your parents and stuff like that. Mm. He's reading facts from websites, so. That's why we have the almighty computer here. Oh. But anyways, the... Oh, the Pink Palace is 150 years old, so it's been there for a while. So I think that's why the other world existed, because during her time she was probably mm -hmm. a witch, and she just created this one world using dark magic, you know? Yeah. It just um, lasted all. And also, there's a black cat that could talk. Yeah, I think he was like guiding Coraline to get out of there or trying to help her. Yeah, he was. Uh, Coraline threw him at the Beldam and the Bel and he like clawed out the button eyes off yeah. of the Beldam. Also, the Beldam at the end of the movie looks horrifying. Like her face is all cracked and stuff. She's learnt more spider-like and her hands are needles. And stuff. Her hand actually gets cut off yeah. from the door, and but she could also like imitate control of her own limbs, even then become disguised from the light. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, because yeah, at the end, like uh, her yeah. hand's trying to uh, get the key, I think. Yeah, because she he was she was trying to stop Caroline from getting out of there because she wanted her, her her soul. Yeah. But I don't get it because in the first like when you watch the first movie. They have a scene of Caroline the doll, like a doll. Like, she always carries yeah, a doll. She, yeah, in the But first it has scene. button eyes on them. But towards the end, she never gets button eyes. Was it like a, uh... No, that was... The button... The doll was to lure her in and stuff. Like, I don't know. The Beldam, I guess, gave her the doll because, uh, like, her last victim was YB's grandmother's twin. I know, but how is that possible? Because she moved from Michigan... And she still had it from Michigan, though. Well, YB, uh, YB had, she didn't have it when she came from Michigan. YB gave it to her after she moved. So, YB's with Beldam, then? No, he's not. Uh, he says, uh, he thought that it was her, hers because it looked like her. Also, everyone keeps calling Coraline Caroline and stuff. It's Coraline. Exactly, I know. And stuff. Oh... So, also, Caroline, like, met these three ghost children, and the witch, uh, like... Yes, that's her past victims. Yeah, uh, so they sang that they were drawn in by their own selfish and greedy. Mm -hmm. Like, greed. Everything the victim desires in a bone. In their... So, when you get into this other world, like, since Caroline's parents didn't give her attention or didn't do nothing... Yeah. When she entered this other world, it gave her everything she needs, just like these other children she got. Yeah. So she tricks them into thinking she's way better than other parents. Uh, this movie actually took over four years to create. Cause in the most, like, di I guess they said that the most difficult thing to... to no. Well, difficult what? The most difficult thing, or the, like, most difficult proper, at least, uh -huh. setting was actually the spot with the, all the flowers, moving flowers. Because, oh, really? like, that, that took four, 
ever to make because some flowers they had to make it to where they can move around other flowers they had to make it to where like because some flowers had to have their actual yeah. own writing oh also it took like 500 people just to complete this and like for attackers alone only took 18 months so this mm -hmm. movie was made a lot you know, they put a lot of money into this movie yeah and the film required more than 70 character fabricators, puppet wranglers, amateur Amateurists. mold makers, character painters, costume designers, and fabricators, and hair and wig fabricators. So that took probably like a lot of money. Yeah, uh, a total of 15,000 replacement fa faces were created for all the characters in the film. Each one of which had to be hand sanded, hand painted. Coraline had o had over six thousand three hundred face placements. So that's a lot of face placements just for them. Yep. It, it typically took like ten people about three four months to like construct a single Coraline puppet. Puppet. So that was nine to. Yeah, Caroline also had twenty identical puppets too. So the main one stood nine. Nine, nine, three, half, four inches tall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that just that just talks about the Lakia Studios. Mm, yeah. But yeah, this this movie took a long time. The and honestly, my favorite part of the movie has to be uh, like. I don't know. It has to be like the flower part. In yeah, I like the flower like, part. Like it took dad. it took the longest, but also it looked really nice and pretty and stuff. Yo, yeah, cause okay, when the first when the first movie came out, I thought it was gonna be like a happy childish movie, right? Cause the title looked like you know those other movies like the Halloween classic movies. But when I first watched the first minute of it, I was like, no, this is not even a child's movie. This is like a. Uh, it kind of like has you like have a to watch with it, it has a creepy edge to it. Yeah, I don't like I that. I watched though. it myself. I thought it was cool. I and then again, yeah, the I'm movie more is used, cool, but I'm it's more just used creepy. to horror stuff, so I thought the movie is creepy. Well, yeah, it has a creepy edge to it. <laughs> Bro, I had nightmares for months after watching that. They night also night. have like a book about it. I haven't read the book. I kind of want to because well, a lot of people say, "Oh, the books are better than the movies." It's like. Well, cause maybe, cause maybe they got the ideas from the book though, cause the book was made before the movie was made, so they probably yeah, got a lot of their ideas that, from it. Yeah, well, they kind of had to use a lot of the ideas from it, cause it was a movie about the book. Yeah, it's probably gonna be way different. And then the or and then uh, I do, like they have there is an actual origin story of the Bell Dam that doesn't really relate to Coraline. You can you can look that up. If you want to. Uh -huh. She's a witch. She's, she's a shaper. Yes. She is the witch who preys on kids. So like every other witch. And like, because Hocus Pocus, they're witches that lure children. Just like, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe she's the cousin of them. There's, bro, wait. <laughs> it's way different because she's like a shapeshifter and they're not. Cause yeah, they're not well, actually... she's also trapped in that other world. Yeah, her hand got out, but... That's when YB and Coraline crushed it and threw it at the bottom of the well at the end of the movie. And then also yeah. at the end of the movie, Coraline's parents are like, hey, sorry we were, we were kind of neglecting you there. We had a lot of work to do and stuff. But hey, now we have free time. Come on, let's go and hang out oh, and plan a wait, garden. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think Beldham, once they well, crushed the finger, like she lost the grasp of the world there, and now everyone returned normal? Yeah, because I feel as like as soon as uh, Cor as soon as Coraline got all the tokens and stuff, and I think, I think she th lifted the curse for them. Yeah, and then her parents were in a freezer, and then they how did they get there though? I don't know, but they they walked in through the door with snow legitimately falling off, and they're like, huh? They don't remember a thing actually. So maybe Beldham went to this their real world. Yeah, they captured them and put them somewhere where like another dimension. And yeah, they brought she her trapped them in a snow globe. Yeah, and then she went back into her own her world. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that is the movie. Also, a scene in the movie where it's Coraline's dad just at the computer being like that. That's a that's an actual meme. 
and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of, it's really funny. Never seen it. You need to just look up Coraline memes. They're actually pretty funny, especially uh, her dad was kind of a mood. Yeah. Because he's just like miserably typing away on his computer. It's like, that's me every time I go into Minecraft to try and work on a farm. I'm like, this is boring. I'm going to go fight the dragon. Also, there was like when they first moved in, there was a lot of cockroaches and rats. Ooh. Yeah, and then Coraline also crushed a bunch of termites on... Yeah, in the and shower head, because they're yeah. coming out of the shower head. That is nasty. Ugh. Yeah, but then again, all those, especially with how small they were, that had to have taken, like, at least eight months to do that. Well, that is it for today. You gonna, have, you gonna 